Hello everyone, it's me Bun Bun, and today I'll be going over the history of Chuck E. Cheese in San Antonio, Texas. This is definitely going to be one of the longer videos, as there are 7 locations to go over. Thanks to my friends Jade and Pushtop for requesting this area. Before we start, I want to say thanks for 1,100 subscribers. I swear we only reached 1,000 like a few weeks ago. Who is even subscribing? The sources used in the video, whether they are from YouTube or friends, will be in the description. Anyways, let's get into the video. The first location in San Antonio opened in August of 1981 with a balcony stage. They would only last until 1984 for an unknown reason, but it was most likely underperformance. I couldn't find any other information about this location. It shares an address with the shopping mall, so I don't know which store is the former location. The bots would most likely be sold off in an auction during closure. 238 West Military Drive, most commonly known as Military, opened in September of 1981 with a balcony stage. They would receive the 1986 remodel, which consisted of replacing decor, receiving new games and rides, adding the checkers, remodeling the exterior, and receiving a new stage setup, except for only a few cases. This stage in particular would be the C stage. Footage from December 5th, 1992 shows the C stage and the showroom. Throughout the entire video, the Chucky live banner is down so you cannot see the cyberamic. The video shows the Chuck walk around where he is wearing his yellow sweater outfit. I don't know if this was for every costume, but he has himself on the back of his sweater. You can of course see the Pizza Time players playing on the C stage. Most of them seem to be in pretty good condition, although Helen is barely visible and Chuck is again hidden behind the banner. The stage is decorated for Christmas, which is pretty interesting. The flag wavers are also visible, but are never shown moving. Additionally, the clapperboard is visible, but is not active either. The end of the footage shows more of the showroom's layout. In August of 1997, the C stage would be replaced by a 2 stage. This means they were most likely the second to last C stage, and also one of, or the last 2 stage to be installed. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any proof of this, so don't take this as, like, 100% true. This also means they would receive Operation Thumbchuck, which consisted of remodeling the exterior, replacing older decor for newer decor, receiving new games and rides, removing the checkers, and probably adding the sky tubes. Some photos from the early 2000s shows the 2 stage. One of the photos shows Chuck in his tux outfit, but he's also wearing the Cool Chuck cap for some reason. And Jasper is wearing his Pizza Time theater mask. There are also a few photos of the back room, which looks very strange. The store would stay mostly the same for the rest of the time until receiving the Cool Chuck remodel in the late 2000s. An exterior photo shows military's Operation Thump Chuck exterior before the remodel. Google Street View also lets you see the road sign and exterior. A video of the April 2007 show tape shows the stage in pretty good condition. Chuck is wearing the full Cool Chuck outfit in this video. There are also a few photos of the showroom in January of 2008. The two stage seems mostly the same compared to the video. Two photos of the showroom give a great look at the artwork. You can see the artifact shelves and the 1993 drive-in poster. The photos seem to be taken from the elevated seating, which was in the middle of the showroom. You can also see half of the record posters in the photo. Under the artifact shelves is what seems to be a magazine and the 1993 Elvis poster. The second photo shows the rest of the record posters, where you can see the wall planners, Mount Chuck Moore, the elevated seating, some of the game room, and the Helen postcard hidden behind a wall. A pillar in the middle of the showroom is also blocking a piece of artwork. They received the Cool Chuck remodel between 2008 and 2010. A Google Earth image from January 2010 confirms this, as you can see the new road sign. They would obviously replace the old artwork, remodel the exterior, receive purple walls, receive new games and rides, etc. They would keep the Cool Chuck outfit until 2012, when it would be replaced by the Avenger outfit. The Avenger mascot costume can be seen in a photo from May of 2011. Between 2015 and early 2016, the store would receive a new road sign. They received the 2.0 remodel in 2017, being one of the first official 2.0 remodels. They also have a separate room used for storage, which contains the 1991 Chuck Confetti poster, the 1991 Hollywood postcard, the 1993 drive-in artwork, and other generic Cool Chuck artwork. It is still there today. This same room supposedly housed the 1988 Chuck and Jasper oil paintings, but Jasper would be removed after they dropped him and the entire glass shattered, and the Chuck oil painting would most likely be thrown out after the room was repainted. This store opened in 1983 with a balcony stage and closed just a year later in February of 1984, 
most likely for underperformance. This store does not have much information as well. They are located in the Marbach Square, most likely in this restaurant. Windsor Cross, or Walsham, or Windcrest, opened in 1983 with a balcony stage. A photo of the Windsor Park Mall in November of 1986 shows Walsham's exterior in the background. There are multiple videos of Walsham in 1988 which shows a lot of the store, but most of them shows the balcony stage. The first video shows the entrance and prize counter. You can see two posters at the start as well as the Grammy Awards show playing in the background, but the video only shows the king performing. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary in this video except for one thing. The king is in the showroom, facing the balcony stage. I'm not sure how I'll only figure this out now, but it's very weird still. And it gets weirder later on. The other video shows, again, the stage, which seems to be in great condition. One of these videos included a sort of store tour, which covers both the game room and the showroom from before the 1986 remodel. The section of the store that has gone over is mostly rides, but it was also next to the ski ball for some reason. And to the left of the area were the actual arcade games. The rides area also included the ball pit, which was connected to slides. Both of the entrances and exits to the slides were present in the video as well. Across from the rides area was the showroom entrance. This part of the video showed mostly the king, as well as the entire showroom. The clapperboard was to the right of the balcony stage, and the flag wavers are obviously covering all the showroom walls. The restrooms are also in the showroom, if you wanted to know. The king also looks to be in perfect condition. Two token dispensers can be seen throughout the video, although only one shows the front, which reveals that they are showbiz branded for some reason. You can see some of the prize counter and some of the entrance to the store around this part of the video as well. They would receive the 1986 remodel in around 1989, replacing decor, receiving new games and rides, adding checkers, remodeling the exterior, and receiving a new stage, which would be a C stage. This may have been the first or one of the first C stages. There are two photos of their C stage where everything seems to be pretty normal. A photo of the game room confirms this as you can see the checkers. Finally, there's a photo of the king and another photo of the showroom where you can see the flag wavers. This stage would only last a few years as they would remove it for the two stage in February of 1992. This would be one of the first ever two stages as well. They would later receive Operation Thumbchuck which consisted of removing the checkers, remodeling the exterior, replacing decor, receiving new games and rides, etc. A video from 1994 shows Walsham before they would get this remodel. This video shows almost the entire showroom and also allows you to see the game room through the cutout windows. The two stages performing in the footage. It is hard to determine the stage's condition but there only seems to be a few issues. Chuck is also wearing the full tux outfit. You can see the flag wavers, oil paintings, and the Chucky live banger which is hanging on the wall. The king is also still in the showroom but this time he is next to the two stage. He doesn't move in the video either. The two stage does seem pretty unique, but I can't put my finger on why. It's most likely since this was one of the prototype two stages, so there may have been some subtle changes that I can't see. There are also many photos of Walsham between 1995 and 2004, but I will only go over the interesting ones. The first is of Walsham's side exterior, where you can see some of the entrance and an awning. There are also a few stage photos in which Jasper is wearing his Pizza Time Theater mask. Another shows Chuck in his full tux outfit, which also lets us see the prototype feature in good quality. You can see Chuck on the red platform, and the bottom of the stage is more brown, unlike the later ones, which adopted the beadboard type look. There's more photos of the artwork, such as the 1991 Munch Confetti poster, magazines, and the Pasquale postcard. There's a photo of the costume room where you can see Chuck's snout, and also possibly the control center for the stage. More footage from 1997 shows the recently remodeled store. You can see the usual decor from Operation Thumbchuck, such as the artifact shelves and the record posters. This video does give a great look at the two stage, where Chuck is wearing his same outfit as the other video. The king is also not visible in the footage, meaning he was most likely removed by this time. The Chuck mascot's outfit also looks pretty interesting, but it might not be unique. There's lots of game room footage in the video as well. Footage of the summer 2004 show tape shows the stage, which still seems to be in okay condition. Chuck is weirdly still wearing his tux outfit. Unfortunately, this store would close a year and a half later, in December of 2005. It would stay vacant for almost another decade, when a high school would take its place. The awnings of the former location would stay the same until sometime between 2019 and 2021, when they would be repainted. I find it interesting how there are no interior photos despite being vacant for so long. 
The store would relocate to Selma, Texas with a Studio C2000 or Studio C beta. Six eight seven four Ingram Drive, known as Ingram, opened as a showbiz pizza place on June tenth, nineteen eighty one, with a classic rocket fire explosion. This was the first showbiz in Texas. A newspaper from an unknown date, possibly in nineteen eighty two, shows what was most likely Ingram's Billy Bob. They somehow incorrectly label him as Beach Bear. This article unfortunately has almost nothing to do with Ingram and only talks about the pizza time theaters in the area. I did find two photos of Ingram's rocket fire. The first photo shows the entire center stage, and the other photo only shows Fats and Duke. Everything's mostly normal, but for some reason they have a beta Rockefeller sign as well as a different valence. More photos from an unknown date in the 80s shows Ingram's Billy Bob walk around. The stage photo is also from the same album, but it's too low quality to make out anything. They would receive the 1986 remodel between 86 and 87, where they would add checkers, replace older decor, receive new games and rides, add blue and white awnings, Remodel the exterior to look somewhat like this, etc. This is proven by photos of Ingram in 1987. One photo of the game room shows the new checkers, the ski ball area, three posters, and the kitchen. The poster on the very left is Pizza Wars, but I have no idea what the other two are. The second one could be Beagle Juice or Chuck to the Future, but those are both Pizza Time Theater characters, so I'm very unsure. The rest of the photos are staged photos. These show all three stages, which also reveals that Billy Bob's stage would receive the Showbiz Pizza campground backdrop. One of the photos shows Rolf, but the rest are either of center stage and stage left. Also, I forgot to mention, one of the photos from earlier are in this album, so that photo may have been taken along in 1987 along with the other photos. The stage still has the beta rock of fire explosion sign. A photo presumably taken in the showroom shows what could be the game room, as well as possibly the elevated seating. The same area has this parody poster, and the second one is harder to tell, but it's most likely King Fats. In 1991, Ingram would receive concept unification, which was the result of a disagreement with Creative Engineering and Showbiz Pizza Time. They would ultimately remove the Rock of Fire from all stores and replace them with the new at the time Munch's Make Believe Band. The store would receive Operation Thumb Chucks sometime in the mid to late 90s, most likely in 1995, replacing decor with newer decor, remodeling the exterior, receiving new games and rides, adding the sky tubes, etc. There is footage of the store on June 8, 1997, shortly after the remodel. It shows almost the entire store except for the showroom. You can see lots of decor in the video from Operation Thumbchuck, such as the 1991 postcard set, the wall planners, confetti posters, wooden signage, etc. Some decor in the showroom is visible, such as the artifact shelves, record posters, and Mount Chuckmore. The Chuck costume is also different from the usual one, but doesn't seem very unique. The store seems pretty normal for the most part, especially for a 90s store, but it's nice to see all the old artwork throughout the store. There's also a game with Pizza Time Theater Chuck where you can like pick up a phone, I guess, call someone? I don't know how it works. There's also an album of photos spanning from 1996 to 2007. There are three photos of the exterior. The first one is on the front of the store, with the other being the road sign, and the third one being the sign on the right of the store. The rest of the photos from the 90s shows the three stage, although they are mostly close-ups of the bots. You can see Jasper with a beach bear guitar and his latex mask. Chuck has three close-ups where he is in his full tux outfit, and his mask does seem a bit off, but I'm assuming that was normal for latex masks. Helen seems pretty normal as well. Her wings look very dirty, but it's probably due to the lighting in the photo. Munch Jr. is also in the same photo, but he's in his can. Munch looks mostly normal in two photos, but in the third one his left eye is covered by the mask. Pasquale has four close-ups looking normal for the most part, and he does use the road stage drum front in these photos. For the prop characters, there's one photo of each, including Munch Jr. and the Wink. There's another photo of what seems to be the controller, and a photo of the game room and front counters. Lastly, there's a photo of center stage with plastic masks. I do have another photo of Helen and Munch, but strangely Munch's organ has the road stage front, while in other photos it has the normal three stage one. Footage of Holiday 2002, which was filmed in 2003, shows the three stage in near perfect condition. The three stage is decorated for Christmas as well, along with all of the characters. Of course, the bots have received plastic masks by this time. Chuck is wearing his full Cool Chuck outfit in the video, but the top of his head is blocked by balloons, so I can't tell if he's wearing the cap, but he most likely is. Jasper also has a hole in his mask, diagonal to the eye, despite only being there for about three years. The store would get the Cool Chuck remodel in 2007, removing old decor for newer decor, remodeling the exterior, removing showroom walls and elevated seating, adding purple walls, etc. 
We have photos of Ingram during this remodel. In all the photos, you can see some sort of tarp over the ceiling areas. Of course, all the artwork was removed when the photos were taken, although the salad bar sign is still up. The last photos of the stage with the purple walls visible. A Google Earth aerial from December 2006 shows the store from right before the remodel, and a video from December 2007 shows the kids' posters and a reflection of the TV. In the same video, Chuck is still wearing his full Cool Chuck outfit, and the stage is in pretty good condition. The store received a minor expansion in between April and October 2012. The bots will be removed from the stage to be replaced by the bots from the Austin store of Ben White Boulevard after closure in May 12, 2013. Nearly one year after the replacement, in April 2014, the stage would be replaced or rather covered by circles of light. The bots would stay behind the stage for a while and would eventually be removed. In July of 2017, they would remodel, removing the circles of light which would later be sent to Wilmington, Delaware, which would close too. This would be one of the first stores to remodel. Google Street View also gives a pretty good process of the remodel's exterior. In August of 2017, the signage would be taken down, and a chunk of the exterior would be defaced, leaving the checkers visible from the 1986 remodel. The 2.0 signage would be added in September 2017, although the letters and awning type thing would, are missing in the photo. They would later receive the updated 2021 remodel in April or May 2024. This store, known as Stone Oak, opened on January 8, 2002 with a 32 Movement Studio C2000 and Operation Thumbchuck. The store would supposedly receive Cool Chuck remodel in July 2007, replacing the older decor, adding purple walls, but they did not remodel the exterior. Footage of January 2009 Segment 1 shows the Chuck bot in his full Cool Chuck outfit. He is also in perfect condition. In between April and October 2012, they would remodel the exterior to fit the Cool Chuck remodel, adding the new signage and repainting the exterior. This store would remodel to 2.0 in June 2017, being the first 2.0 ever. This store is most known for the 2.0 remodel photos. The wooden floors around the counters and seating area, different carpet, and most notably the changes made in the showroom such as the massive character silhouettes and the red bar frame for the TVs are the main differences from this one and the 2021 updated remodel. They would get the updated 2.0 remodel in April or May 2024. This store, known as Bandera, opened on April 16, 2002 with a 32 movement Studio C2000 and Operation Thumbchuck, only 3 months after Stone Oak's opening. Footage of the store in August of 2010 shows they're bought in great condition, along with most of the store's old artwork. The store would remain the same until summer of 2015 when they would receive phase 5. The Chuck animatronic snout would slowly droop over, looking drastically different compared to a video in 2019. The store would start the remodel on April 1st, 2024, leaving no more animatronics in San Antonio. The dance floor from the recently closed Arlington, Texas Fielder location that had the first 2.0 refresh would supposedly be sent to the store, as it only closed 4 days prior. With 7 locations to go over and me being lazy, this video took very long to make, so I'll just ask you to subscribe. By the way, I won't be taking suggestions for a little bit as I already have some ideas for my next videos. Thanks again to Jade and Pushop for requesting this area and providing information and media for this video, as it would have been much harder without it. Overall, this area was very interesting with the weirdness brought by Walls and Loop, Windcrest, and the other locations that did not have a disappointing history, except for the Pizza Time Theaters that lasted like 2 years. I hope to see you again soon. Maybe.